mean, the exchange, you can't just keep coming taking from God. You got to come to church and give God something. And worship is the time when you just say, God, I thank you for all the things that you've done in my life. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy and grace. You got to mature and get past just the things. Yeah. He's giving you things. And the things still that make you happy. The more things he gave you, the more other things you wanted, and you still not finding fulfillment. Because that fulfillment can only be found in Jesus Christ. And when he knows that you sold out, he'll give you stuff, and he'll allow the enemy to take it away. He wants to see where your heart is. Will you love me when you have a car? Will you love me when you don't have one? Will you love me when your bank account is full? Will you love me when there's no money in the bank? See, that's the test of love. It's easy to talk love when everything is going good. But the true definition of when you find out that that person really loves you is when they stay with you when you've lost it all. When you, when you have every reason to just say, I give up, I'm tired of God, I'm just going on my way. But just when you're about to give up, that's when God is testing you. Because he wants to know, do you love me for who I am or just for the things that I need? That's the story that he did. That's the enemy, what he did with Job. In the book of Job, that's what he told God. He said, you got to hedge your protection all around Job. No, everything's good in his life. Man, he's got a beautiful wife. He's got a beautiful family. He's rich. He's got money in the bank. His health is good. All of that. That's why Job served you. But then God was the one to let him know, say, no, that's not, I know his heart. And I know that's not the only reason why. He said, I allow you to take all that away. But you can't touch his spirit. Because God knew his heart. And when Job passed his test, God restored it all and gave him greater than what he lost. So what am I saying this morning? Whatever you're going through, pass your test. Stay with God. Don't forsake God because God is not our issue. Whatever's going wrong in your life, it has to do with you and your choices. But Jesus Christ, he's the same today, yesterday, and he is forever. And I'm telling you, he 